So first off, what is React? React is an open source front-end JavaScript library. It was created by a software engineer at Facebook actually. And here you can see what the average salary of a developer using React is. And that was from Indeed.com. So if you ask me, that's a pretty good salary to work with by just implementing React. Today I'm gonna talk about how long it may take to learn that skill and potentially make that kind of salary. I got my degree in computer engineering, but that actually has nothing to do with how I got into React. I graduated and six months later, after not being able to find a job, I finally enrolled into a coding bootcamp that then introduced me to React. Funnily enough, I got a job in computer engineering and four months later, because I missed developing in React and doing web development, I went applying and stumbled upon another web development job. So what I recommend based on how I was able to make that transition is please make a LinkedIn profile. There are so many recruiters on there. And then from that LinkedIn, make sure you have a professional email. They will headhunt and they will look at your experience. So whether you're doing a Udemy course, Coursera, make sure that you add all of that to your LinkedIn and work on some projects because they will look at that and they will invite you to career fairs. They are looking for people with React experience. And the reason that I say that is because anytime that I finish doing something, I would go onto LinkedIn and add that. There's also like Salesforce development. You can do certificates on there as well. Add that to your LinkedIn. And somehow that worked for the algorithm in LinkedIn and I received a notice for a job fair. And because I wasn't sure if I was gonna continue working there, I went ahead and checked out the career fair. In that career fair, I met one of the program managers that told me about the projects they were working on. And when they told me that they were using React, I told them that I had some experience with it during bootcamp. I told them the projects that I did and they were thoroughly impressed with that. After that, I got on a technical call, um, but it wasn't too technical. Like it wasn't a coding, like whiteboard interview. It was more of a talking about my projects and how familiar I am with Jenkins using collaborative workspaces. So while you might think that, oh, I need to make sure that JavaScript is under my belt, that React is under my belt, you also want to get familiar with using GitHub and how to collaborate with other coders. Because when you're going to get hired onto a team, people will look at that and they want to know if you're a good fit for their work culture. And so that's one of the ways that they can tell. And though I might not have a lot of projects on GitHub, I do recommend putting those because the way that I got my React developer job was completely different than the traditional way to do it. But I have seen that people that get hired afterwards, they have projects and that's another way that they have gotten considered because a recruiter or even someone in the technical hiring team is able to look at that and see how you coded and then they can use that to ask you questions. The upside to that is that they'll ask you questions on a project that you worked on and you're able to talk about it because you actually did it rather than giving you a new problem that you have to try to remember your entire toolkit and you might uh, blank out on the technical interview. So that's why it's really useful to create your own projects, not just because it builds your skill, but because it'll be something you can talk about without having to stutter. So because of the way that I got my job right after working in computer engineering, which wasn't web development, I did feel like an imposter initially. Thankfully, I had senior developers that I could ask questions to. That's another thing that people forget to talk about. Learn how to ask questions because otherwise you will continue to feel like you're an imposter because you don't ask the questions to get you out of that rut. So another thing that helped is just applying what I learned in the coding bootcamp and that's doing the research devoting a certain amount of time to reading the documentation and then applying it. If you still haven't figured it out, that's when you reach out to your team, the senior devs on your team, present them how you've tried to solve the problem and then ask them, is there something that could be implemented that you're aware of? Try to come up with a very thought out question because they probably have a lot on their plate as well, um, but you should never fear asking questions. As I've learned, as I've been one and a half year into this career, I've learned that I'm never gonna know everything and I'm always learning something new each week. Especially with React, they're constantly making version updates, constantly adding libraries, and the customer is always gonna want the newest, so I'm gonna have to learn the newest technology. So that's just something that you have to overcome, knowing that you're always gonna keep learning. To summarize how I got my job and how you also may be able to get a job as a React developer, 
I want to say number one, make sure you create a LinkedIn profile, add a awesome professional photo on there and update your resume. That's part of having a profile out there. Number two, enroll yourself in a very intensive bootcamp. And it doesn't have to be like a 15K bootcamp. You can start out on Udemy with those $11 courses, but make sure you're actually gonna go through that and finish it and add it to a portfolio, whether it's a link on your LinkedIn or if you wanna create a GitHub account, do that. Number three, network, network, network. Find people in the field that you wanna be in, ask them questions, and maybe even ask them courses that help them get better at their job. So I hope that helped you. And if you liked this video, if you found any value, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos or more content on coding. <laughs>